Hey y'all, today's video is a fun one. I'm participating in a mystery box challenge with several, a bunch of my friends. And so what the premise is, we, um, Ellie, organized this all for us. And then she told us who to send our box to, and then somebody sends a box to us. And then we unbox it on camera so that she can see what we got. At the same time, we see what we got. And then we have to make something fall themed, like a fall DIY. And I had already taken off my makeup. If you can't tell, I'm sick. I may have to do a different voiceover for this part of it, but we'll see. Um, I'm sick still. But I had already taken off my makeup. I was about to get ready for bed. I'm like, oh, dang, I didn't film that thing. And I was going to start on these tomorrow. So let's get into it. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. All right, this box... I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you or not. I mean, I guess I can tell you. I know who the box came from. It came from Tammy, my friend Tammy, um, who you've seen in one of my, a couple of my videos before. I've met her and her husband, and um, sweet, sweet people. Love them. And um, anyway, I was excited. So um, I'm going to have a link to the playlist as, oh, hello, Captain. I'm going to have a link to the playlist as well as all the other links that you're going to need in the description box below, so be sure and check it out. I think this is going to be a fun one, and I'm already seeing some things. I'm like, oh, gosh. Uh, not in a bad way, in a good way. So I've seen these little mini, hey, what are you doing, bud? Come on, stop. I've seen these little mini books. She sent me some of those. Um, I have several. I, I love, well, I love all things mini anyway, so that's going to be fun. And then she sent me a um, football. I have never worked with this football wreath form before, so I'm going to have to think of something fun. I mean, football and, and fall definitely go hand in hand. I'm in Texas, so definitely Friday Night Lights. I mean, there's something I could do there. Um, ooh, cool, cool. I uh, got wood planks. Captain, they can't see. I got wood planks. Um, these are very, very versatile, so thank you for these. And I got, oh sweet, I got Harvest DIY Wood Words. So, yeah, those will be fun to add to some DIYs. And oh, these are, oh, oh, these are like in cursive. This is Thankful, Blessed, and Grateful. So, that's awesome. Those will look cute on a DIY. And then... Oh, you know what? I have never bought these before. And I always see people use them, and I'm like, those look cool. But I've never bought them for myself, so thank you. Those will be fun to use. Oh, cool. Well, my initial's not, my initial's not M, so we'll have to change that anyway. But it's a monogram leaf, and um, yeah, that'll be fun. My theme this year, I was going to do um, like foxes or woodland creatures for my front porch for fall. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but, um, and then this is not fall. It is Easter, but the basics of it is capturing Captain's attention. You see that? You see that? Okay. Anyway, beaded garland. Those are always, farmhouse are always easy to work with. <laughs> I've got some orange crafters square ribbon, and I've got some more. Oh, this is like burlap ribbon though. So this is burlap ribbon from Crafter Square. It's also orange. Good fall color. Oh, some more little books. I love little books. You know I do a books, a book stack almost every time I do DIYs, but I just like them. And then I got my, it's color your own ornament. It's a, I mean some people say it's coffee mug, but I say it's hot chocolate all day long. Because you don't know how I roll. But Oh, cool. I've seen this in my Dollar Tree. Never bought it. Um, I like that it has um, the paper that you can remove because I have another idea for this one. And then, oh, the, the card's at the bottom. I probably should have opened that first, but I didn't see it. I have never found this in my, any of my Dollar Trees that I go to. Um, maybe I just wouldn't look at hard enough, but this is the metal ribbon is it from Dollar Tree? It's this floral garden metal ribbon, but I've seen tons of people use this, so I am super excited to try this because it just looks fun. Um, 
it just looks like it would be fun because this card was in the box i probably should have read it first but i didn't see it till just now so it says just a note and it's got a little quilt on the front hi lisa i hope these goodies find you well <laughs> not so much <laughs> but um i'm ready to go back to canton and find some goodies i hope i sent you some good stuff you did and i can't wait to see what you create I hope you're having a fantastic summer. Talk to you soon, my friend. Happy creating. Tammy from the Rest of Willow. Thank you, thank you, Tammy. Yes, you definitely gave me some good stuff. And I can't wait to um, get my little mind and ideas spinning around and creating some fun. Okay, let's kick it off with DIY number one. This, These books that she sent me, they're super cute on their own. And at first I was going to cover them with brown craft paper. And I thought, no, why? I was going to make, make them new, more neutral, but I just loved the colors that they already were. So all I did was take some jute twine, wrap it around, and tie a bow on top. And that's it. I'm not even sure that you can call it a DIY. But I'm calling it DIY number one. So I think it looks cute. And it's going to be a cute pop of color on my tiered tray. And I'm excited to use them. Now for DIY number two, she sent this leaf, maple leaf I think it is. But anyway, it has the letter M on there my that doesn't my that's not my monogram so i just decided to cover it with some craft paper and i traced it on and as you may or may not know i'm doing it wrong <laughs> so i take my time and i cut out the little leaf shape that i just traced out and then when i go to i'm gonna mod podge it on i'm like oh that's not that's not the right direction so <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll put that on the back side and I will trace it again, but this time with the paper facing up because that's, that's how it's going to fit better. And again, all I did was just trace around with a little marker thing and I cut it out with my scissors and then I Mod Podged it on. And I just added the Mod Podge on. You could use glue, you could use a glue stick, you could do it a lot of different ways. I used Mod Podge and just kind of spread it around, tried to spread it evenly, and then I placed the craft paper on top and just blank video, what am I doing? Where did I go? Oh, there I am. <laughs> so I just placed the paper on top and gently tapped it down, and then I let it dry. And once it was dry, I took my finger sander and I just went all the way around the edges of the little leaf shape and try to sand them down. Now, this particular piece, the backing of it, the some of the wood on the back felt like came off while I was sanding, which was really no problem because I was putting on a backing to it anyway. But you just use your finger sander or you could use like an emery board or something like that and just clean up the edges. And this is how DIY number two turned out. And I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, I see where I need to sand a little bit more. But hey, I think it still turned out super cute and it's gonna look great on a tear tray. For DIY number three, I'm going to remove the front of this sign. And I was trying to take off the family sign because it's like made of metal, like a really thin metal. And all I did was just take this, you know, rag that I had soaking wet and I let it set on the thing. And I don't know how long it took me in total. It really doesn't take that long to, to soak it off. And you just kind of let it soak, scrape a little bit, let it soak. Maybe it took me like 10 minutes total to get it all off, but um, I actually was able to save that family sign. Although I don't use it in this video, I can maybe use it in another video, so I did save that, but I just took all of the front paper off. And once it's all off, you can kind of see where there was like a um, stain or like where there's that water stain there, but I'm painting it so it doesn't really matter. And I'm just trying to figure out how I want to lay this out. And so I use painter's tape to kind of mark off the lines where I'm going to be painting and then I use a little piece of painter's tape as my spacer and just laying out the painter's tape and getting ready to paint. Then I'm taking my favorite color, Maze. I just really love that color and I know that some people might go, oh, well, it's a, you know, like, I don't know, summer color or something. Well, okay, use it for summer. I'm using it for fall. And so I'm painting all the lines that you see here. I'm painting it with the color Maze. And then I had used a linen color on the top and bottom sections. I didn't like it. It was blending too much. So I went in with a, I think this is moss. And I'm just adding, you know, another color in there. Kind of a fallish color. Or it's fall to me anyway. Then I mark up the other areas. I'm trying for a crisp line, but not like super crisp. It's not 
that critical that it's super crisp. But now this is the celery color and I'm painting that on the that section there and then skipping the middle section and painting right there. And for the middle, I am painting that with pumpkin, um, folk art paint in the color pumpkin. And so far, I'm really liking the color combo. Then I'm trying to figure out this little, she gave me these little wood words. And so I'm just trying to figure out which one do I want to put on there? Which one do I like? And it ends up, I'm liking the Hello Fall. And so I decided to go with that. And then I'm giving this a coat of, I don't know what color, my gosh. It's like cinnamon or something like that. I ended up doing some other stuff to it. So, but it's starting out with this color here. I guess I don't show you, but I had dry brushed some like white on there. I didn't like that. Then I tried to darken it up with some, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Ink on the edges. Anyway, went back with the brown color and I like that a lot better. And I'm attaching that in the corner to this wire frame that I've used some greenery that had a wire in it and I wrapped it all the way around. And now I'm just gluing that sign, the circle sign to the wire wreath frame that I'm using. And I'm using some masking tape to kind of hold it down better. And it, it's still, it, anyway, you're, you're going to see in just a second, but um, this is how it's turning out so far. I was going to add some of that wire beading, like it's not beading, I guess, I don't know what it's called, but they sell it at Dollar Tree. I could not find any at the two Dollar Trees that are close to my house. So um, Tammy had given me this burlap ribbon and so I was just trying to make like little bows all the way around or kind of like, I don't know, but <laughs> y'all, this looks like, um, and I'm not even trying to be funny, but this looks like, I don't know. So have y'all ever seen Cynthia <laughs> from the Rugrats? That's what this reminds me of. It's like, it's not even, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what to tell you. It's just like, <laughs> I don't even know how to fix it. If you have any ideas on how to fix this, leave me a comment below. I mean, like in my mind, it was going to turn out so cute, but all I can see is like Cynthia's hair from the Rugrats. So anyway, <laughs> that was DIY. Um, I don't even know what DIY I'm on now. All right, this is DIY number four, so I guess that was DIY number three. But I'm taking these paint sticks and I am measuring out because I'm gonna be making these little candle holders. And so I'm just kind of sorting through the paint sticks that I have because I keep all my scraps. She had given me this pack of um, wood planks or whatever, I'm not even sure what it's called. So um, I'm using those as a guide because that's what I'm using as the base and I'm just cutting the paint sticks down to size. And I'm gonna use some painter's tape to kind of wrap around to keep them all together so I can cut them all at once as opposed to cutting them individually, which would take me forever and a day. And I'm making three of them, so I need three squares. And again, this is just me measuring it. And I am trying to measure like well, so that I know like everything fits. But y'all know I measure with my heart. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll show you what happens in just a minute. But um, I, you know, I try. That's that's all I can say is I try. And I even you know like taking it and like making sure stuff fits. And it seems like stuff fits. But I'll show you in just a second. It doesn't end up fitting. <laughs> somewhere in the process of my measuring it I didn't measure correctly or and or I didn't cut correctly I don't know it, it I would say it's me <laughs> it's me not you but um they they ended up not being even and so they weren't necessarily totally square there was like overage and at first I was just going to leave it but I thought no I can I can fix it but before I try to fix that I go ahead and give each one a coat of paint and the first one's going to be that beautiful maize color that I really love. And the next one is going to be, now is this celery or moss? I'm going to have to go look at the thing, but um, I give that the color, either celery or moss, either one will do. And the third one is that pumpkin color. Um, trying to keep a theme of my colors going here for this video. I do use some Jenga blocks on the bottom to create a riser. And I did one with no Jenga blocks on the bottom, one with I think two Jenga blocks on the bottom and the third one is with four Jenga blocks on the bottom and you can just see the 
the configuration that I'm gluing them and I am using wood glue to adhere it all together. And Tammy had given me the, that wonderful metal ribbon. I'd, I'd never found it before y'all and so I was really, really excited to use it. So here it's just me trying to um, look at me using my tent like little snips. They weren't working so I had to use scissors and those work like a charm. But um, I just kind of measured around each one and then cut the ribbon to that length. And then I laid them out on some brown craft paper and I gave it a coat of the folk art paint in the color plaster. And I just did that on one side because you're only going to see one side. And then I had these three candles from Dollar Tree and I'm just removing the outer wrapping on it. And then I take these rub on transfers that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just choosing the ones that I want and cutting them out. And then I'm going to apply them to the front of these candles and you know just taking a little popsicle stick rubbing it on and one of the tricks that i do is like i slowly pull back and if i notice that something hasn't been transferred on i just lay it right back down i keep my finger kind of in one place so it doesn't move or wiggle around and i just keep working it until i get it all transferred over to the candle then i take some hot glue and i attach the metal ribbon to each of the candle holders and I use little um, those little clamps from the Dollar Tree um, if I feel like it needs it or if it feel like it's popping up or something like that. And this is how they turned out. I'm not even gonna lie, these are gorgeous. These turned out so, so cute and the rub-on transfers worked like a charm on those candles. And I'm just like thinking, oh, I could do like so much more like rub-on transfers on these candles because it looks so good. Like. I mean, it looks like it's on the candle already. So I think that's a great idea and I encourage y'all to try it. All right, final DIY is DIY number five. And she sent me this football wreath form. And I thought to myself, what the heck am I gonna do with that? I didn't know. And at first I was gonna like, like staple it down to a piece of wood and kind of make it into a centerpiece or something like that. And I thought, oh, no, I'm going to make like a little bird cage type thing. So I found these other snips in my husband's, you know, the garage area and I'm just snipping that off and look at me trying to measure like that's even, that's not even a thing, but I was trying to get them kind of even because, um, the next part, it'll be important that they're kind of even. So I'd kind of, you see me kind of fitting it there. I drilled some holes and y'all, I couldn't find the thing to put in a new drill bit in my drill press. Press. I don't know what I did with it. Um, if you know what I did with it, let me know. But I couldn't find it. So I was just having to use my hand drill like, anyway. And then of course the battery's dead on that. So that was awesome. But anyway, I got it done. And then I'm just using these little pliers to kind of bend things and make sure everything is where it needs to be. I'm pushing it down in place and I'm adding some hot glue and then I'm just going to hang on to that for like, I don't know how many seconds, but I'm just trying to make sure everything is in place and glued and not going anywhere. I'm just adding some more hot glue here and then I'm going to take this moss and I'm pressing it down. Now I'm doing a fall one, so that's why I'm using this kind of moss. I guess Spanish moss maybe, but if you're doing like a spring one, you know, you might want to do the other kind. I don't know what the other kind's called, reindeer moss or something. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like just a little bit different vibe for it. So then I take a zip tie. She'd given me this carrot um, tassel, beaded tassel thing. So I took one of the beads off and um, I'm zip tying it to the top to be kind of like a little, I don't know, like knob at the top. A lot of those have like a knob or a bird or pumpkin or something. Anyway, and so I attach it to the top and then I take four more beads and I hot glue them to the bottom to be kind of like the base. And I was going to paint them, but I didn't. And then I just take some jute twine and I make two little bows and I kind of glue them on top of the zip tie so you don't see the zip tie as much. And that's it. That's all you do. I think this, oh, I also <laughs> took, she had given me some wood um, words and they said blessed. And so I um, kind of glued that to the front, hot glued it just lightly to the front in case I want to change it out. I think it looks super cute. And that little fox I got from Dollar Tree. This is my favorite DIY from the project. I just think it turned out so, so cute. And I actually kind of want to recreate it a couple different ways. So um, maybe you'll see a video coming out about that. 
that's it for today's video. I am sorry to cut this off so short. I appreciate you guys watching my video. Apologize for my voice. Hopefully to be back to normal really soon because I've got a couple more videos to film. Don't forget if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram, my handle is Our Grey House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy.